his head's right there. Get him right in the That's head. That's his head? Yeah, get him in the head. Stick it down on him. Ready? Yeah. Get him. Stay hard. Stay down on the wood. I'm on him. Alright. Alright. Now, hold on. Look, you want to just let it up a little bit? Put your hand underneath his head. Underneath his head? No, no, hold on to the stick down there with that hand. And put the other hand under his head. Look. I got him. Yeah, good. yeah, but you gotta put one hand under his head and hold the spikes. Don't put it on your finger in his mouth. I'm Look. not. Uh-uh, don't put your finger right there. He'll bite the shit out of you. Grab the Where spike underneath so he can't come on. There you go. Woo! Come over here. <laughs> hold on a second. Come to the beach. That's a pretty good one. Get over here so you can't lose them. All right, back up some. Let's see what you got. Show us some spots on them. Flounder, kicked in the head. Hold a spear down some. All right. All right, take yeah. it off and hold them off. Hold it up. Kick them off with your foot. There you go. Pooh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And then hold them up like this. See his teeth? Yeah. Yeah, <gasps> stick your finger oh, in wow. that thing. Wow, yeah. yeah. Still got your life jacket on. That thing. Where did I punch him in the head? Right there. Right there. That's where I poked him. Wait, get his teeth in there. Show him the teeth. Look at how his. Oh wow. Both of his eyeballs are on top of his head, right? Mm-hmm. That's nuts. They bury up in the sand. What's up, YouTube? Last night we went flounder gigging, and it was my first time flounder gigging, and I got one. Woohoo! I hope the footage is okay. I hope we can put it in the video. But Lewis is going to show us how he likes to lay, debone de it for stuffing or for yeah. anything. You can stuff it with whatever dressing you want. Okay, so we're going to stuff it. We're going to do like a stuffed flounder with thing. With crawfish. Yeah. Etouffee stuffing. Etouffee? Yeah. Sounds French. Something like so that. he's going to show us how to debone it without... Well, what's the special Without way? Without cutting it straight down the back. Okay, he's gonna show us a special way how to debone this fish. That's better. It's a better way. So, oh, is there a big bee around? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, okay. There's a lot of bugs right, there. You want to start okay. off by scaling it. So you gotta get all the scales off. The scales way back on the tail. See them all coming off. Okay, so this is about done for scaling on the front. Yeah, you want to get along these wings like that real good. And then pretty much it's done. You want to flip it over. Bang, yeah. bang. Yeah. And I mean, anything works. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This is just my preferred tool, and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, so this is the finish. This is what it, it looks like. Finish on the white side. And then you just want to kind of rinse them off. Rinse. That way you get rid of all those scales. Okay. All right, what, so is this, what is this tool you're using? An American angler fish cleaning knife, which is probably, you know, that's my choice. It's electric and it's it electric. In. They last two or three years and can clean thousands and thousands of redfish. But, so what you wanna do next is cut this thing out to the shape of the meat. You cut his head off. All right. Oh, that's that, and then the next step, you just wanna take your knife, stick it in here, and just kinda of bust this little stomach liner with some blood. Get all the guts out of there. Make 
make sure there's no guts. And then once you're done with that, it doesn't matter what side you start on, but you just want to stick your electric knife in. And just follow the bones, keep it flat. And I'm just keeping it flat to the, to the bone and just barely rubbing it around. And I can see the blade on the edge of where I need to be. Okay. See, if you look in there, you can see I'm following the bones. And then I just stick it a little deeper and do the same thing. And you can see the blade right here. Yeah. You can see the blade as I'm coming to the edge. So you don't want to too far. You want to leave it like a just, pocket. Look, you see the tip of my blade? Watch. Yeah, see yeah. I'm just, I'm detaching it from the... Looks like you're giving it lipo. And then, you just want to flip it all the way. Turn your blade the other way. Do the same Look thing. the other side. Go as deep as you can. As long as your blade will let you. Flip them over, do the same, same thing. Same thing on the other side. Follow the bone all the way through, so it's easy to follow the bone. Is this possible to do without the electric knife? You can probably do it with a regular knife, but the electric knife. It's, it's better, much better, much easier. You, it's, it's in there cutting perfect, and I'm just laying it at the right angle. Then, once you finish that, what you want to try to do is you take some scissors and cut as you can to the wings. To what get kind out. of scissors are these? Just any kind of outdoor scissors that heavy duty cut, scissors. Yeah, cut bird wings. Okay. Or anything like that. But you can hear them clipping yeah. the wings, clipping close to the wings, just on the bones like this. It has a really tough bone at first, but then once you get started, it's easy to cut. The bones aren't real hard. You can actually just twist them and break them by hand, but it's easier with the scissors. Then you can take it and you just stick your hand in there and kind of. inside it out. Start on the big side where the head would look like closer towards the head. Do like this. We're just gonna roll them inside out. All the way? Yeah. Look, see the bones coming out? Yeah. You leave them inside out? Mm-mm. We'll put it back. But I'll just, I'm just gonna do it just to show you that there's no bone. See? So that's the piece and that comes out. Yeah, there. there's no meat really left. I traced it. Yeah, wow. Pretty good. That's all. I got it really good actually. Yeah. And you just stick your scissors in there and you cut the rest. Wow. And it'll be... What's that white string right there? Is that a, like a worm? Mm, nice piece of gut or something. <laughs> or it might have been, oh, it's from the bone. Oh, like the yeah, tendon or something? Yeah, the bone, it pulled, it's like the stuff inside. Right there. So you can just grab this and go twist it. Man. You just got guts on you. Oh no. Fish inside out, that was Those his bones. All the bones that came out. Okay. So those guns then, trash. So this thing, you can take it. See, that's all meat. This the is all spare. the meat. This is the top side. Wow, that's some nice meat. It's, it's like really white. thick. It's yeah. about an inch thick on the top. And then the bottom side is a little thinner. It's about, you know, yeah. a quarter of an inch or maybe a half an inch. And there's no bloodline to cut out. There's no, the bloodline. Is uh, a, there's not much bloodline on yeah, flounder. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is. Then you just grab it by the tail, and um, 
inside it back out. There's your flying wow. leg. Wow. With no bones, and then when you stuff it, it'll look like this. Oh my god. You can stuff that's it. Gonna you be can so just, good. You can pack it as much as you want. So that was easy. So that's how you debone a flounder without cutting it in half, right? Yeah, no no cuts. No cuts. And if it's you want nice... once you put your stuff in there, I mean I just let it I just fill it up, y'all see? We'll fill it up. We're gonna go and get started on it right now. Pretty cool guys. I'm excited to eat this. I've never had flounder before. Okay, we are back in the kitchen with the freshly deboned and rinsed flounder here. We cut up some lemons. We have this crawfish dressing, which we did not make. We bought it like this, but it's like a mixture of like rice and vegetables and stuff. And you can stuff it with whatever stuffing you like. And then we have this spice we're gonna cover it in. And then we're gonna put some lemons across the top and bake it in the oven and get it everywhere. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. It feels good with dolls to lemon. Flip my hands over. are clean. My hands are very clean. Yeah. We know you clean your hands real good. <laughs> the seasoning's covering the whole inside. Really nice. And the back, too. So now it's ready to get stuffed. Yep. Yeah whole thing going in. It might fit. Fit as much as you can. Stuff it back in here. This feels gross. <laughs> it smells so good. Ooh, it's getting real stuffed. Fill it up. Use it all. That stuff tastes so good. I know. And we didn't cut any, any holes in the fish. That's why it's filling up. So... It all. all right. <laughs> this thing is stuffed. We got them stuffed real good. Perfect. Looks perfect. Nice. You got this one too. All right. So when you're while you're stuffing this, you can um, preheat your oven to about 375. About 375, and we're gonna start with about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yes? Yeah, about 40 minutes. And we're we're going to start it. with about 40 minutes because uh, the meat's really thick on here and we also have a layer of skin. So um, probably like no less than 40 minutes, I would say. You can see we stuffed it real good. It's fat. Okay, time's up for the flounder. We've had it in for the extra 20 minutes. Let's see how it looks. Kind of drying out a little bit, but the bottom's still moist. Oh yeah, look at that so that's, nice that should be golden perfect. color on it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Just see how it looks. Meats oh my perfectly gosh. cooked. Look at that nice white meat. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Still a little moist in there. Kind of mix this stuff up. The skin peels off nice. Yeah. <gasps> oh. I don't like my the skin gosh. really. Look how the skin's peel. coming off. Peel that to the side. Oh. No way. No way. Wow. This this dressing I tried, or this uh, stuffing I tried the other night in a chicken. So if you ever come to Louisiana or like Venice, what is this place called? Butcher Block? Yeah. Well, Look up Butcher Block. this place called Butcher Block. They have, oh. sorry, I just like turned it over and closed. They have like all kinds of like really super good meat, and this is what we tried the dressing in before. It's a homemade butch blood. A stuffed chicken. It was so good. I'm like so excited now to try it in this flounder. So look up butcher block if you're ever in 
Venice? Is it around Venice? It's or around Orleans? New Orleans. It's closer to it's, New Orleans. But yeah. you'll, if you do come to Venice to do a trip or fish or anything, you'll probably fly into New Orleans so you can go there anyway and pick one up on your way to Venice because it, it's worth it's worth it. I'm so excited to eat this. Oh, it's so good. And you can eat the bottom half too, right? Yep. Yeah. That hole, there's all meat on the bottom too. Yeah, watch. I just scraped oh, it right wow. off the skin. Oh my gosh. Want a piece of the bottom too? Yeah, let's try the bottom. Let's go for it. That's the bottom. Okay, and so also for this one, we don't really need any sides, but if you want some vegetables on the side, go for it. Which one was the top and which one was the bottom, do you remember? The fluffy stuff. Mm. It's really good. Oh my goodness. That is good. This is my first time eating flounder. First time catching one too, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's like little pieces of, is that crawfish? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's crawfish little pieces tail. of crawfish. So this is like super Louisiana style because we got the crawfish in here. <laughs> right here. Oh, it's so good. And right there. Mm. All right, guys, we're gonna finish eating up the rest of this flounder. It's delicious. I hope you get a chance to try it and go flounder gigging or if you ever catch flounder anywhere, I hope you get a chance to taste this recipe, it's amazing. And also, I hope you enjoyed the deboning lesson from Lewis. It's pretty cool. So if you like this video, give it a like. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button, I'd love to have you here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.